Hello and welcome. Dave and Joan Maroney here, your Mother of Mercy Messengers, with the Divine Mercy for America news and events for May of 2024. Hello, everybody, and happy Easter. Happy Easter. Yes, it's still Easter for a few more days, and uh, we're excited to be diving into the month of May on the beautiful feast of St. Joseph the Worker. St. Joseph. Amen. Imploring, Pray for us. Yes, imploring his intercession. Um, a lot of people have told us they've been doing the 30-day novena to St. Joseph. It, oh, yes. The Holy Cloak uh -huh. novena. The Holy we've Cloak. Been, we've been doing it. We did it. Yes. Most yes. every day. It's hard to keep up with it sometimes. It's a great novena. We do our best. And so God bless all of you, all the, the uh, St. Joseph's out there, all the great workers, dads, moms, um, everybody working for the Lord, especially so, and God bless all of you for all you do. And so let's talk about real quick. We're just going to visit with you quickly about the, uh, great lineup that we've got for May. It's interesting how things fall into place, um, without even a whole lot of pre-planning. I just let the Holy Spirit and the Blessed Mother guide us. And so for the month of May, we're calling it Mary, Motherhood, and Mercy. That's Mary, Motherhood, and Mercy. Right, I those, like that. Those are the three themes. And so we're going to start off uh, today on, on May 1st with uh, Mr. Uh, Kevin McCarthy. And we're, of course, speaking about the guest speakers on our live Holy Hour that we do in the afternoons from the 1st to the 9th. Right. That we invite you right now to join us. You know, it's really wonderful because we meet with people from all over the country and people from other countries and everything. And this is our fourth year. And a lot of people have been coming from the beginning. People come when they can, but friendships have developed. Oh, it's amazing the sense of community that I, I was surprised when we started it, you know, how that developed just... You see the faces, and and you get to know people, and it's it's really a, an online community. Well, yeah, and the other nice thing is because so much other stuff is out there, like on YouTube and even prayer and all that, but you don't really get to participate. That's true. You know, yeah. and have the two way communication, which is what we love. You and know? the the question and answer period after mm -hmm. the holy hour for the guest speaker is always interesting. People have lots of good mm -hmm. questions and comments. Right. So tune in, and if you can't join us live, of course, it is recorded, and it's on our Rumble station and Divine Mercy for America. You might already know that. All right, so Mr. McCarthy, um, devoted to St. Joseph himself, but also we're going to be talking about um, how it went uh, in preparations for the Feast of Mercy. I've kind of taken a little questionnaire out there and um, to get feedback of how well our priests are are really aware of the great gifts of divine mercy and everybody is you know so we're going to talk about some of the ways that we can help our priests and clergy and parishes uh even doing a better job of getting that out so that's mr mccarthy on the first on the second the second we have dr liz rex dr elizabeth rex she's been our guest before a bioethicist and you might be familiar i've heard a little bit about that alabama just uh, placed had a special ruling uh, that had to do with in vitro fertilization and embryos um, and said that they yes they are human beings this is an incredible decision it's an it's a good decision and a great decision but it helps helps us really focus on what is going on in this industry in this yes. market and with the lives of of these human beings babies and there's millions of them so we're that's something we're gonna big issue that's a big issue we yeah. hope people will come to the realization that they are people so we need to be informed and we need to help get the word out um, get people to come to these talks this one especially uh, or watch it later um, I'm sure it's going to be very very informative and then the next day on uh, uh, I think that's is that Friday that is Friday, Friday. the third. Mm -hmm. May 3rd, Laura Elm will be our guest. And she is with Sacred Heart Guardians, and they um, uh, have a beautiful ministry. Uh, it's been three years since we've had Laura. They have a beautiful ministry of the children that do die uh, for whatever reason in these IVF labs that they're entitled to Christian burial. And they work hard to get with the IVF uh, labs to let them know of this service. Tune in, and uh, we want to help support her uh, beautiful ministry and the good work that they're doing. 
Then on uh, Saturday, it's going to be uh, Father Ron Matthews and our friends Ed and Ann Weber uh, from West Texas. I just love the Webbers and, and Father Ron. They're very special. They had an incredible Feast of Mercy and an incredible kind of like textbook uh, plan all of Lent of, of how their parish got ready and their pastor and all that. So we're going to share that awesome. to help give people um, an idea of what they can do in their parish next year and start planning now. So I'm looking forward to that. They're real excited. And that, then Gerald Young. On Cinco de Mayo. Which is the f translates to May 5th in, <laughs> in English. <laughs> But here in San Antonio, it's an important... Here in San Antonio, it's a big celebration. Uh, Gerald Young was recommended to us by uh, one of our prayer group members, Peter Lepre. Many of you know Peter. And uh, he's a friend with Gerald. And Gerald has got an incredible story of um, being wayward like many of us, his conversion, and then how he has fought for life, um, both in Florida and in New York, on so many ways with such fervor. So we're excited Interesting. to hear. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, we're getting ready for... Pentecost. Which is super important. Uh, that's going to be our constant theme this month, too. What a great person to have who's coming then. On the 6th, Monday, May 6th, is Father Jason Lewis. Boy, a Marian Father, MIC. And uh, he is uh, he's just so full of the Spirit. You know, it's just going to be a very, very special time with him he's going to have everybody pumped up and jazzed as we need to be and in, in, you know it's here it's it's the deadline of uh, jesus walking with us on earth he's going to send into heaven and boom uh holy spirit's going to come and we're going to be praying uh, for all those gifts to pour out upon the world and uh, so we're going to be talking all week about what are you doing getting people signed up to to begin the novena to the holy spirit which starts on the 10th so we'll be meeting together the 1st through the 9th uh, after Father Jason. Then Dave and I on the 7th are going to talk about the Marian movement of priests and Father Gobi. We've been members of this that helped form us, the beautiful messages. Yes. And we just felt on our heart there were some passages in there, especially have to do with media that we thought we should talk about. Yes. And then on Wednesday, May 8th, we have a video presentation of John Canavan. He is in Melbourne, Australia, and doing just wonderful uh, divine mercy work out there. And we had scheduled him last month as a special guest, but guess what? His daughter had a baby. So, <laughs> so he was unable to make our meeting, which was going to be early in the morning uh, the next day in Australia. He was going to come on live with us here in the afternoon in the United States. So... So, but we do have a video of him that we, we will be showing on uh, May 8th. I'm particularly excited about uh, his focus has been for years on getting parishes to celebrate the Feast of Mercy. Yes. And there were 131 or something in his diocese that had some kind of special observance of the feast day. So we're going to learn from that as well. Yes. As I said, the month of Mary, motherhood, and mercy and then the ninth day, what a blessing. We had the opportunity to meet two, two yes, beautiful women. Yes, awesome. Uh, Joanne Von Swell and Betsy Bayo that are with the um, Rosa Mystica House of Prayer. I don't know much about Rosa Mystica, so no, I'm... Oh, yeah. So they'll be explaining... I'm looking forward to learning. Yeah, yeah. about those... Uh, that devotion, those apparitions, I guess, a lady, I think, appeared in Italy. I don't know that much about it. Yeah, we'll be learning... And I, I, there are statues of them all over the world that have wept. And I was like, we don't hear these things. I said, you have to come on our show and tell people. And so they are. And so they are. So they'll be telling us about Rosa Mystica and then also uh, the beautiful uh, house of prayer that they have in New York and how they, they serve the community. So that'll take us through the ninth, ladies and gentlemen, getting us ready for the beginning of the novena to, to Pentecost, to the Holy Spirit. Dave, you want to tell them a little bit about that? Well, it's the church's first and really only officially prescribed uh, novena for the Catholic Church. It's when Jesus told the disciples to go to Jerusalem and wait uh, for the Spirit to come. And uh, that being nine days, that's where we get all of the novenas come from, that nine days that the disciples 
along with our Blessed Mother, prayed in Jerusalem, uh, anticipating the coming of the Holy Spirit. And so uh, it being a, an official church novena, it starts uh, on uh, the day after the Ascension, which is uh, this year on Friday, May 10th. Well, Ascension is Thursday the 9th. Yes. Yeah. And so each day uh, there are intentions. We, you, we pray for the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit, and then uh, that's in the, the, uh, the middle days, and then the first day and the last day are just kind of generally for, for uh, the Holy Spirit to touch our lives also. But so every nine day days of prayer. Di- every day yeah. we pray for all the gifts. Yes. But every day then we focus we for the most part. Yeah. On, and I learned a lot from those little meditations. Yes, they're great. Like understanding like piety. I think it has something to do with just being in prayer. Just being piety means you're just good. Right, and, and you and follow you, you respect authority. That's a, what it means as you go deeper into the meaning. Right. Yes. So that's why we're reverent in church because we respect the authority of God. That's why you treat law officers with respect, or a judge, or a teacher, or, you know, principal, your boss, your wife. How about that? Hey, I'll <laughs> give it a try. <laughs> Come, Holy Spirit. Come by Come means, by means of, of the, the powerful, powerful intercession. intercession. Of, of the, the Immaculate, Immaculate Heart, Heart of Mary, Mary your, your well-beloved spouse. spouse. All right, so All be right, sure. I'm going to mention on May 12th, Mother's Day. Oh. That's in our theme, right? We yep. have Mary, Motherhood, and Mercy, our theme for May of 2024. So God bless all the mothers as we're praying that novena. We'll be able to remember the moms in a special way. And our granddaughter, we're excited uh, in Washington, D.C., we'll be receiving her first Holy Communion on Mother's Day. So we are going to, after we finish the novena, we'll be flying up to uh, or the, you know, the online prayer meetings. Then we head up to D.C. And what a joy. I'm so excited. Yes. How beautiful. And for all those that are receiving the sacraments now, God bless everyone and all that are helping them prepare for it. There's a lot of that that goes on in the month of May, right? Yeah. So pray God for everybody. God bless all the moms. And, um, yes. What else, Joni? How do people sign up for the novena? Oh, go to divinemercyforamerica.org. And right there on the front page is a little sign-up form. Put your name and email address, and you will be put on the list to receive the daily emails for the uh, novena to the Holy Spirit. And in those emails, it uh, contains the text of the uh, meditations, the prayers that we do, and also links to... Uh, video recordings with the words on the screens. We're working on that now. Lots of options, however you want to read it, see it, um, watch it in your room, put it on the screen, on the video, listen to it in your car. So anyway, uh, sign up and get as many people to sign up as possible because we'll all learn about the Holy Spirit and his gifts, and we will be invoking his presence. Amen. Amen. So God bless everybody. God bless you all. Thank you for all of your prayers and support throughout the years. Yes, We did a little uh, solicitation campaign after uh, after Divine Mercy Sunday with all of the novenas and prayers that we were running, and we got a good response. Yeah, we told everybody we are celebrating our 25th anniversary right now. It is our 25th. Yes, of, of ministry. Not of our marriage, yes, of so. our ministry. So 25 years we've been dedicated to this, and it's it's so exciting. We're still, I love what we do. And we thank you all that that uh, gave a donation. It really, it uh, it we rely on it to uh, to keep going in this work. We have to support this work. So we thank you. And uh, if you didn't uh, get a chance to do a donation yet, you can go to divinemercyforamerica.org and click on the donate tab. Yes, please do. And <laughs> write in a little note, you know, hi, I see you on the on the holy hour or you came to my parish and so-and-so and just let us know who yeah. you are. Right. Great. All well, right, everybody. Happy okay, May. Okay, everybody. Yes. Thank you all. God bless you all. God bless you and God bless your family. And the whole world. God bless America. God bless America. Dave and Joan, signing off for now. God bless. Amen.